hey y'all check out the fit we got a hanger shirt on and my polka dot shorts that's the fit and we're gonna go out to Dahua 99 ranch to go get some rice today we have big things coming but starting off i'm gonna have to go visit 99 ranch like i said and you may be like oh my god your car looks so different this isn't my car this is my mom's car so i'm a lucky duck it's because i have to fill up her gas she doesn't trust me to back out of here but like i'm kind of a g and if you hear all this beeping it's okay that's just because it's in a little bit of a tight space are y'all seeing this are y'all seeing that distance that's crazy bro a key a key thing to know is that if you just back out straight and don't touch nothing, you'll probably be fine. So, a word of advice. Pull out. Sorry for the sudden um, location change. There's no helping yet. I forgot to film the rest of me being in the supermarket. It's 12.23 a.m. and I'm getting ready to cut my hair. I'm also kind of doing this secretly. I'm not really doing it secretly, but my mom doesn't know I'm doing it. But she probably be okay with it. I've always had a love-hate relationship when it comes to cutting my hair. I've done it many, many times now, but I've never really fully loved a haircut. Except for my most recent one, I think. That one was my favorite. But now that it's grown out, I don't really like it. But basically, this time, I'm going for a very different direction with my hair. Um, I used to do a lot of like really short hair, so my hair is like basically a bob. Not a bob, even less than a bob, like a bowl cut. But now I kind of want to start growing it out into more like feminine cut. So this is what my hair looks like right now. It's grown out a lot. I haven't cut it since like last November. So basically all of this is new growth. So we have here, the front side. This is the side. This is the back. And this is the other side. You can probably tell that it's not the most even, which you would be right. But basically you see right here, this area, this is kind of like what I want to go for. Like light, fun layers, but also like an overall like very long appearance. But the issue is back here is a little bit short, so I'm a little bit worried about how that'll work. I'm going to put up some of the inspiration photos that I had all around. I've watched one tutorial and it was a YouTube video with Chung Ha as the background song. So, safe to say, I'm in good hands. So, there are a few current problems that I have with my hair. One of them is going to be at the front part. Whenever I go like this, it gets like winged out like this and I don't like that. So I kind of want to either like make it layered over here or like cut it so that it doesn't do like that flare thing right here. And also another thing is that my bangs are like overgrown and they're not even. And I think they're a little bit too low on my head. So it makes it look like I'm looking like this the entire time. So I think I'm gonna try pushing them a little bit back, making them a little bit fuller. And then I'm going to be taking off this bottom part because it was cute when it was short, not so much now. Maybe add some layers so that I get overall like this kind of look, but I'm praying that I don't cut it too short by accident because I really just don't want to do that. A lot of my hair is not even, so I, only, I can only do so much. First, I'm going to start by wetting my head because that's what they always do. Oh my god. Whenever I wet my hair, you can tell like how my dyed part, like my bleach parts, are definitely much more damaged and they're a lot harder to brush out. I'm just taking my finger and following where the tops of my ears are. I'm gonna say that's good enough and just tie this up. I have like no hair here. Natty ate with this off. Oh man, oh man. Huh? Okay, wait, hold up. Okay, I have to like elongate my neck because like, I'm like, str okay. Right here? Right, right here? 
Oh, right here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> here. Okay. Oh my god, I'm holding the wrong pair of scissors. your sinks when you do this just so the fallout doesn't go anywhere so now I'm gonna move on to a little bit above my ears it's gonna be like uh, probably right here oh that was clean you see that well basically I laid out the guide with the bottom of my hair correct so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull all my hair to roughly 45 degree angle and then make sure it matches up with the guide I recommend misting your hair, have you seen mist your hair because it's gonna dry in this California weather. I hate cutting the back of my hair the most. Okay, I think I did an okay job. I really can't see what's going on back there, so I can only hope and pray. Like a square, kind of like towards the middle of my hair. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's gotta be like a bad sign or something. Hair to her. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna do a midway cleanup. Okay, low key. This side is like killing it. Like I love this side. This side, not so much. I don't know why it's so long here. So I think I have to fix that up. But this side definitely, it's got that like, that shape that I wanted. Where it like kind of goes like that. The back is pretty nice. I think I definitely have to curl this area in. Can't be helped. Back at it again. It is 1.35, record time, my mom just caught me. But we're all good to go because there's no stopping now. Here's a little story time. Um, so my little sister got like this little drink from like a church event and she brought it home, right? And so after that, she just opened it today and she drank it and she's like, man, this is weird. Like, why does it taste like this? And then we were smelling it, and I thought it smelled like mold. And I was like, ew, what the hell is that? And it was fruit punch flavored. And we couldn't figure it out because it's like, we've never seen this soda brand before, um, never tried it before, yada, yada, yada. Turns out it's freaking beer. And it was just like looking like a soda can. If you see the can, you would think it was soda too. But it smelled so gross, I couldn't, it made me want to bark, not gonna lie. This is the finished hair. Um, low key, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Maybe it'll grow on me. I think it's because I hate the back. How it's like way too short. It looks, it reminds me a lot of my old hair and it pisses me off. But you do what you gotta do. Um, yeah, I think it's okay. Hopefully when I dye my hair, it'll definitely make me feel better about what is on my head now. So, this is a complete look. Um, the techniques I use could definitely be used. It's just that my hair was uneven from the beginning, so I was kind of doomed from the beginning. Okay, so I'm a big fat liar about being finished. Turns out I hated it so much that I kept touching it because when I hate something, I just keep touching it, but specifically with my hair. And I kept looking at it in the mirror like oh my god like what if i pulled the bottom part up and that looked like 80 times better so now i've cut off the bottom part and it looks a billion times better 
I don't remember what time I started. I think I said the time, but right now it's 2.43. Still not done. My scalp. I'm ready for the wash. Yes. Hi. I'm going to be dyeing my hair. <laughs> Lily Tide's silver lining. This row has seen me through thick and thin. Yeah, so it's gonna be the top half of my head into two, bottom half of my head into two. One can is not going to be enough. I've like saturated most of it, but clearly you can see there's still a lot of like yellows. So I'm probably going to have to pull out can number two. Bottle number two. I was about to cover my entire head, but like you can tell it's not really that saturated. So just to be safe. Go open bottle number two. I'm like an alien. Oh my god, you know like those ballroom dancers? Oh, I need to set up timer. Okay, 10 o'clock, I gotta wash this out. I've been at this for like more than an hour. I'm gonna go wash it out after 35 minutes. The past like, how long? 15 minutes has just been me sitting on my bed like this, rubbing my head. Fresh out the shower, looking good. Now I'm gonna blow dry it. This is how the hair turned out. I really like it, except I do wish it was more blue. So there's another thing we're gonna do in which my friend's gonna give me some blue hair dye and hopefully I can put it over this so that it's even more blue. But I like it. It's currently 10.58. And it is the first day of school. It's already passed. As you can see, my hair is dyed and has been dyed. And it's only been one day since I dyed it. And I'm already dyeing it again. I really hate the color because it's really inconsistent. There's some blue parts that I really, really like, like right here. But most of it, as you can see, is turning green. And that is not what I want. It's lucky enough in which my friend has some, has some leftover dye that they borrowed. And so now, my goal is to re-dye my head and touch it up a little bit because this in the sun is way worse than it is here. Like here, it looks okay and consistent, but when I sat in my car and saw it in the mirror, oh my God, it was atrocious. It was so green. The thing though is that I'm gonna have to do this with my nails on. Also, let me give you a nail tour. Um, out of this entire thing, I think this one and the, this one are my favorite. But aren't they cute? First day of school wasn't bad. I have quite a few classes with my friends, which makes me really happy. But definitely no eye candy. A little bit sad, but it's whatever. It was kind of expected, to be honest. I've already lost all expectations, which is honestly pretty nice. Honestly, I think people need to let go of expectations more because 90% of the time they ain't happen. So I'm going to be mixing two colors. It's going to be shark blue and also midnight blue black because I kind of wanted to be like a deep color, you know what I mean? Based on the quick clip I watched, it looks like you don't mix it in with anything. So I guess that's what we're gonna have to do. Just they need to be dealt with first. Make sure it's really even or as even as I can possibly get it to be honest because who knows how well I can do with this. Okay, so I finished putting it on and I've let it develop for like roughly like 30 minutes. So now I'm gonna wash it off. Another secret is that I actually have two eggs in my pocket because I'm thinking of making macarons. Words cannot express how happy I am right now. Take a look. 
this is like basically the exact color I wanted on my head right now. And I barely used any dye. Like considering this was a whole head, I barely used any. I didn't even use like a whole bottle, I think. Maybe one bottle, maybe like two thirds. But like for my whole head and for it to be this pigmented like this, oh my God. Granted, of course, it's still a little bit uneven, but I'm really happy with how it came out. 